So we've been talking about the hypothetical return of the chain gunner lately. I did a video on it presenting some of my own ideas and some ideas from players in my Discord server. And now a buddy of mine, an artist who goes by the name of Crom Waits, has contributed to the discussion in a big way. If you've seen my video on the disastrous video game Alien Isolation, you'll recognize Crom Waits as the guy that did the art concept pieces for the minigame chase section in that video. Crom became a huge Doom Eternal fan after a long break from gaming, working his way up from low difficulties to ultra nightmare like the badass he is. Recently he posted a concept for a Doom Eternal chain gunner and I want to talk about it. The look of this guy is perfect. He's grotesque and intimidating. I love the ammo pack hanging over the right shoulder and the equipment launcher on the other. He looks classic yet modern. The first point of his concept is the chain gun itself, firing frequent streams of rapid fire, high speed projectiles, long range. I'd like to add that maybe it would be cool to make these bullets plasma tipped, something that would chip away at the energy shield of your own chain gun. We've come to see how absolutely broken the energy shield mod is, since it makes you invincible like every 5 seconds and you can just dash repeatedly to stunlock heavy demons and humiliate super heavies. So if id Software isn't planning on adjusting this thing, and I don't know if they are or aren't, I'd welcome an enemy that shuts this thing down. Krom's idea differs from mine in that I thought about having two chain guns, both as breakable weak points, then leaving him with only a hand grenade and a melee swipe. Krom has him with a single gun, but with the ammo pack as the weak point. Breaking it causes a fiery explosion that hurts enemies around him, and it can hurt you too if you're too close. He specifies that a sticky bomb or a well-placed remote detonation rocket would break the weak point, so breaking it with a precision bolt, a ballista, or a blood punch would just break it normally and not result in an explosion. I have an idea for a change to this, but first we gotta mention the beautiful equipment launcher idea. This chain gunner has a purple goo launcher. Now, we all hate the purple goo, but I don't hate it in principle. I just think it was very poorly introduced in Exultia. There was nothing fun or interesting about just slowly trotting through a river of purple goo. I find it to be much more interesting when scattered around an arena like this opening area of art complex, where it's a hazard that the player can intelligently navigate around by being aware of their surroundings, using the meat hook, etc. So I absolutely love the idea of the chain gunner lobbing puddles of purple goo around the room. They would have to dissolve after, I don't know, 5 seconds? Since I'm anticipating multiple chain gunners at once, we don't want lots of puddles just hanging around the ground the whole fight. But I like the idea of him being able to throw down this hazard to keep you aware of your footing. And like he says in his notes, the player stepping into purple goo would open up opportunities for bully units like dread knights and barons, because you can't dash or jump out. Here's the biggest change I would make to this concept. I would move the weak point to the purple goo launcher. That way he keeps his chain gun at all times, but there's still a highly incentivized weak point to target in the goo launcher. Krom also says that destroying the chain gunner's weak point would put him in a glory kill, but I think that's too much. The reward is already great, disabling the goo launcher and damaging surrounding enemies. But I think breaking the weak point would do enough damage to then be able to take him down with a quick precision bolt ballista combo or a meat hook into a close super shotgun. He says the chain gunner would take reduced damage from precision bolt and ballista in general, and I think that's okay too. Next we have the dash boots. I love this idea. The chain gunner is a hefty dude, so he needs some technology to get around. He can use the dash boots to jump up to platforms for a better shot, but as Krom mentions here, he can use those boots to dash away from arbalist shots and lock on rockets. That's a pretty cool idea right there. On his left arm he has an Argent Energy Baton, and his ideas are that it could momentarily disable your dash, or that it resets your equipment cooldowns. Honestly, I like both ideas, but I think I'd go for equipment reset. Imagine getting too close to this guy, getting bopped, and now you have no chainsaw, no flame belch, and no grenades. The last thing to mention is the weakness to full auto shotgun, with the mastery returning not only 6 shotgun shells, but also heavy cannon and plasma ammo. Very cool idea and it creates an interesting alternate approach to fighting him. You can take him out long range by sniping the weak point and comboing him, or you can get a little closer, risking getting too close to his baton attack to pump him with full auto for that ammo bonus. Overall, I think Krom's ideas are pretty cool. There's a lot of directions id Software can go with this enemy if and when he makes his return. Maybe some of our ideas will be there, maybe he'll be something we haven't imagined yet. Hell, maybe he'll just be a souped up fodder demon, really simple with nothing complex about him, appearing in large harassment numbers. Whatever it is, I hope we see him come back in the next DLC or in the one after that. 
Thank you for watching. It's been a crazy year for me, for everyone. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, everyone take care of yourselves, and I'm looking forward to further developing this channel in the next year. Maybe we could get a mayo-themed demon at some point?